Video time. Today is gonna be a short one. I'm just gonna show you a test of what I'm doing here. As you know, there are many 18650s floating around right now. So I thought, why don't I make uh, a project to make, to help people make those batteries or cells into batteries, right? Battery packs. And so this is what came out. There's a lot of iterations, but this is the latest one and uh, it's symmetrical and uh, this one's bad because we didn't do it right. And so, <laughs> it didn't, so this didn't pass the test, but it's great to show you what's happening here. So in the search for making things simpler and easier to build, what I've decided to do is try this thing where I'm gonna have to compress them. These are gonna lay out like this next to each other, right? And so I thought, well, okay, we just put screws in here and that's how the current goes from one module to the next one. But because we're compressing them with these, uh, you know, all threads, uh, big long screws or bolts and stuff. Uh, why don't I try and see if I can simply use the compression to be able to transmit the power from one module to the next? And I thought, is that possible? I don't know if I want to try that. Obviously, there's uh, some down to that, right? That if you don't, you might not be able to catch it. If there's not enough pressure, uh, if it's not evenly applied, there's like all kinds of things that could happen. But I want to give it a try at the very least, right? Before saying that it's not going to work because it might just actually work quite well. And so that's what these modules are. They have this exposed piece right here. And then I have gone and put a one little strip of nickel in here. So that means that this portion and this portion right here, the stuff that actually I want to transmit is the part of this flat plane right here that is sticking out you know, further out, right? And so that means that it's going to uh, make sure that that is the part that is touching and is gonna have some pressure. Now, I don't know if it's gonna be enough pressure. I don't know, we're gonna do a test. So here, what you see here is seven modules this way and then seven modules this way. This is a 14S module now. And this is uh, how uh, I'm envisioning this battery, right? Cause that's what we, that's what everybody needs. Everybody needs a 48 volt. That's what is popular. It works with all the inverters and stuff like that, right? So that's what we're doing here. Uh, now these are compressed already. I have torqued these. There's nothing connecting the one module to the next other than just these uh, exposed little pieces of nickel in between each one of these modules. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load it up today and the target for this battery is 100 amps. I want them to be able to do 100 amps. Uh, also, there's a bunch of other stuff that we're doing. We're like using a PCB over here to transfer from this side to that side. The same thing is just with compression. Uh, and these uh, pieces that are supposed to uh, conduct the, the, the power uh, are in between those two bolts right here, which is probably where most of the torque is going to be seen right um now these are exposed too so they are touching but there's no pressure in there right i mean in the future if this works really well we could even take these off but i think just in the uh i think it would be a good idea to leave them there they don't hurt and so in case that one of these batteries is not even though you torque it it's not conducting power from one module to the next then you simply could throw a bolt in here and then uh then that would help it, right? So of course these, I'm trying to make this super simple so you don't use a bunch of wires and you know, all this other stuff, including when you put the BMS in here. And so this is part of that. This is, this connects, there's wires in here, but this is not the way I want to do it. This is just because I haven't nailed the design down, but it, uh, eventually we're just gonna lay that board in there and then just put a couple solder points in there for each module and then we're gonna be on you know we're gonna be on online connecting these and then i'm gonna put connectors in here to be able to put the bms and then they're all labeled stuff you know so all good, good stuff this board in the front too is gonna be the same thing is gonna be two layers in the top whatever is gonna we're gonna put a bms through here through one side and then a uh circuit breaker on the other and that's what this hole is here for but I, this design is kind of early i have another one that is working so today we're just going to be testing the conductivity right will it do some amps and i've, I've done some preliminary tests and it's looking good that's why uh at this point i'm like well the only thing left is to try the full battery 
and then uh, see if we can do full power. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to do full power today. I think these ones do 30 amps each. So we could be uh, close, very, very close. Uh, I actually though at this voltage, it might do 20, so two, four, six. So we might be around 60 amps. Let's run this test, see what it does. We have the clamp in there. Also, another thing that I wanna test is to see if uh, these two wires, which are 10 gauge, are gonna be sufficient enough to do very short uh, runs within the battery to trans to uh, conduct uh, 100 amps. So we're gonna be looking we're gonna be looking at those two. Okay, starting the test. All right, we have connected the other two. So if it's 900 at that, so 3,000 watts. We'll see what 3,000 watts looks like. The battery's not fully charged. It's still at 3.5 volts. 700. This one's at zero. Why is this one at zero? All right, 67 amps. Voltage is still pretty good on the cells, and we're looking at ooh, 111 right there at the uh, exit point, right here, at the exit point right here. 111 amps is um, uh, uh, degrees Fahrenheit is not very high. <laughs> So we see heat here at the exit point and then we see heat back here where it's just a PCB board that's going across there. But the cells, cells, I mean they're 90, not even that bad. They're slightly warm to touch. Uh, we don't see no hot spots here. You would see two hot spots there, one there and one in here, but we don't see that on the other side also. No, we see the hot spots over here, but we don't see them there and here, which means that, uh, yeah, this compression thing really works. It works really well. You gotta try the full on test. But I gotta charge this battery and then um, try it again. So there you go. This looks very, very promising. We uh, virtually didn't see any heat from here, from the in between the things. Uh, and we would have seen some on the edges here if that was the thing. But uh, the only heat we saw was from here and there. This battery module, this battery pack is gonna be 48 volts, uh, 100 amp hours, right? So pretty much almost the same as all the other ones that are on the market that are 48 rack mountable. It's gonna have pass-through terminals, it's gonna have circuit breaker, it's gonna have a screen, an LCD screen, it's gonna have communication to talk to the inverters, it's gonna have a nice steel box. This is gonna be a legit rack mount five kilowatt hour battery. And it's gonna have legit BMS, just like all the other ones, like the EG4s and all the other brands that are out there and stuff. And it's gonna be so easy to build. It's gonna be really easy uh, to get these modules and put them together and put them in the box and stuff, right? I can't wait to finish this. This is just a simple test that I've been doing and I just wanted to share with you guys. Stay tuned for this project. This is coming out pretty soon. All right, thank you for watching these videos. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.
Oh, by the way, if you have HBO Max, make sure you watch Driver Downey's Dream Cars. I have an episode where I converted a BW bus into a fully electric car. And then we went and shot the episode and stuff and we'd run around in the beach and stuff like that. So if you have HBO Max, my episode will be released, I think mid July, but you can go and watch the first and the second episode right now. And I think the second and third episodes will be released this week. Right, so today is the day that we do uh, the red carpet and we see the first episode. But I mean, also classic cars are a pain in the ass.